you might be thinking how you can make it you want to know let's roll the intro Hey what's up guys I hope you having a great day welcome back to the brand new exciting video if you are new here I am Devinson here for my channel I make videos here on YouTube about filmmaking and other VFX stuff as well if you do that stuff consider subscribing and turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss a thing on my channel and today's video I'm going to make more transition in Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro same transition in two applications so as I told you in the previous video when you make transitions it's all about the clip that you're going to choose a mock transition that's what they call it and this is very very easy to make so without any further ado let's jump into Adobe After Effects and later on Premiere Pro. I'm gonna drag these clips to my composition inside Adobe After Effects. First clip in the bottom and second clip on the top. And I'll split this layer where the clip should be start since this is a long clip. And then let's scrub through the timeline and again I'm gonna split this layer where transition should be happen. Once done I'm gonna grab the second clip right here and split it where transition should be happen. Once done, I'm gonna lower the opacity on top clip and adjust the scale and position values to match with the bottom clip. Little bit here. And yeah, look, both characters are quite matching now. Once done, I'm gonna find the liquify effect and drag it on top layer. And then pick this work brush. I'm gonna change the brush size a little bit. and adjust the top clip to match with the bottom clip person something like this it's quite similar to smudge brush in photoshop once the process done i'm gonna make a key on this distortion percentage here value of 100 and i'm gonna drag this key backward on the timeline and here let's make the value of zero to another keyframe on the timeline okay looks pretty good now i'm gonna select the bottom clip and grab the same liquify effect and then what i'm gonna do Pick the verb brush again and match the bottom clip to top clip girl right here. Okay, looks good. Now I'm gonna make a key on distortion percentage value of 100. Once done, I'm gonna drag this keyframe all the way backward. And I'm gonna go same keyframe where I was and make another key value of 0. Okay, I'm gonna exchange the keyframes. So basically the starting key should be 0 and end key should be value of 100. And then on the top layer, I'll make opacity key. Starting key value as 0 and end key value of 100 once done let's play it okay cool and now i'm gonna jump into adobe premiere pro and do the same transition so let's do it i'm gonna open the same two clips in premiere pro and hit the control plus c key on the keyboard and split it where exactly transition to be happen i'm gonna delete the rest of the clip once done, I'm gonna split the second clip as well. And delete this part and drag it right here. And now I'm gonna select the second clip and bring it on top, somewhere here. And then let's go to editing tab. And I'm gonna lower the opacity on the clip. Once done, I'm gonna adjust the scale and position to match with the bottom clip. Looks pretty good. Once done, let's increase the opacity again on top layer. And then I'm gonna grab this top layer right over here. Next, I'm gonna find the mob cut in effect panel. And drag it between these two clips, something like this. And I'm gonna go backward two frames from the middle point of these two clips. But it depends on what you want. For me, two frames is great and then trim this mock cut effect so as much as you close it the transition gonna be speed up so now it will take some time to generate and all you want to wait for it and boom let's play it There you go guys, I hope this video was helpful for you guys and got something out of it. This is how you make the same effect in both softwares. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification icon. I'm gonna do tutorials here and there. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, links in the description box. I'll see you guys on next one. Stay creative, peace.